Mercedes-Benz has revealed fresh information on the EQ line of all electric vehicles for the 2023 model year. While several models are on the verge of making their US debuts, Mercedes has unveiled even more variants that should be accessible to US consumers by the end of the year. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at all the new electric vehicles that we can expect from Mercedes in the next couple of years. Hello and welcome to Tech Stack, your number one stop for all the latest tech reviews. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and if you have any thoughts or comments, let us know down below. Now let's get into it. The German luxury brand has officially disclosed what upgrades customers should expect from its lineup of automobiles in 2023. The brand's battery-powered EQ line of vehicles will continue to grow in the upcoming model year with the addition of several new models planned, including a high-performance AMG version of the EQE and a new version of its battery-powered flagship, the EQS. Mercedes gave us a sneak view of the AMG EQE earlier this spring, so we already knew it was coming, but now we know when to expect it. According to the manufacturer, the mid-size four-door has an effective 328-volt high-performance drive battery and AMG Performance 4MATIC Plus variable all-wheel drive. Depending on the driving conditions, the system has the ability to modify the drive torque between the front and the rear axles. We'll have to wait for the full specs, but Mercedes has previously said that the EV's drivetrain can deliver up to 677 horses and 701 feet pounds of twist with the optional Dynamic Plus package. The new EQS is not an AMG model, there is already one of that, but it's aimed at drivers who desire a more competent version of the company's top-of-the-line electric sedan. Previously, the EV was available with one of the two powertrains, the 450 Plus or the 584 Matic. The new 454 Matic now offers all-wheel drive without requiring the largest battery pack. We'll have to wait for specs, but expect it to have a driving range of more than 300 miles. Another new Mercedes EV to look forward to is an SUV based on the EQS, which has recently begun production in Alabama, and one based on the EQE, which will follow soon after. On Tuesday, April 19th, the German car maker presented the EQS SUV, the newest addition to its growing array of all electric cars. Following the original EQS sedan and AMG EQS, the third generation of the company's battery powered flagship will be the biggest yet, with up to three rows of seating. The most recent EQS, despite clearly being an SUV, resembles the sedan it is built on more than the Marquis' well known GLS or G Wagon models. The new model retains the same front fascia as its predecessors, as well as a host of other stylistic elements such as aerodynamic lines and LED headlights. The differences are clear from the side, however. The SUV's roof is 68 inches tall, 8.5 inches higher than the sedan's, and it stretches all the way to the back hatch. We're sure some Mercedes fans will wish it was a little boxier, but the curving shape will help it cut through the air, which is something the brand has prioritized with all of its EVs. Inside, the differences between the variants become even more evident when you look at their interiors. As with the exterior, things are the same up front, including the option to upgrade to the dashboard spanning, touch-controlled hyperscreen, which integrates three displays, a 12.3-inch gauge cluster, a 17.7-inch touchscreen, and a 12.3-inch passenger screen. The hyperscreen is equipped with the most recent version of the MBOX infotainment system, which can manage seven distinct user profiles. It also includes an inbuilt navigation system and is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatible. The EQS SUV begins to feel radically different in the back. It comes standard with a second row of chairs with enough room for three adults and five total, but a third row can be added to increase seating to seven. Also, the back seats can be folded down to increase cargo space. When the second row is folded down, the five-seat model has up to 74 cubic feet of cargo capacity, while the seven-seat model has up to 71 cubic feet of room when the third row is folded down. A panoramic sunroof is also included. According to the manufacturer, the EQS SUV will be available in two trim levels, the rear-wheel drive EQS 450 Plus and the all-wheel drive EQS 584 Matic. The initial trim includes a single motor powertrain with 355 horsepower and 419 feet pounds of torque. Meanwhile, the 584 Matic has two motors, one on each axle, and delivers 536 horsepower and 633 feet pounds of torque. That's 20 more than the top tier sedan, but 113 less than the high performance AMG EQS 584 Matic, and 215 less if you add the AMG Dynamic Plus package. That's a lot of power, especially for a daily driver. 
Although a range estimate has not been provided, the car and SUV both have batteries with 107.8 kWh of usable storage. Even though it fell short of Mercedes's aim, the base car can go 350 miles on a single charge, which is very impressive performance. As an SUV, which is bigger and heavier, its range is expected to be less than that. You should be able to charge the battery from 10 to 80% capacity in roughly 30 minutes thanks to the 9.6 kW onboard charger and its potential to accept up to 200 kW of DC charging. The EQS SUV will be introduced as part of Mercedes 2023 Benz's model year lineup. Pricing has not been released, but the EQS 450 Plus starts at $102,310 and the EQS 584 Matic starts at $119,110. So we expect the SUV to start higher than those estimates while remaining in the same broad range. Another thing to expect from Mercedes is an MMA build EV that will debut in 2024. This electric car could be a high-end Volkswagen ID3 competitor rather than a crossover, although a crossover equivalent will surely be offered. It will be an electric equivalent of the existing A-Class, so don't expect Mercedes to only offer it as a hatchback, expect at least a sedan and possibly something more openly sporty. For inspiration on the design of its future models, we can look to studies such as the Vision AMG concept or the EQXX production preview. To better integrate into the EQ lineup, the manufacturer will most likely develop new model lines with various positioning. As Mercedes turns its focus to the top end of its range, the number of compact body variants offered will be reduced from 7 to 4. This appears to be a trend among luxury manufacturers these days. They are increasingly shifting up markets, where fewer vehicles are sold but profit margins are higher. Another EV to look forward to is the Mercedes-Benz EQG-class electric G-Wagon. When the EQG debuts, it will represent a completely new model for the Mercedes brand. It might go on sale in late 2023, since we expect its arrival for the 2024 model year. The EQG's batteries and electric motors will be brand new, even if the suspension and chassis are likely to be similar to those of the G-Class with a gasoline engine. We predict that the 2024 Mercedes EQG will cost around $150,000 when it enters dealerships. We'll know more about the different EQG trims and their pricing closer to the electric off-roaders on sale date. Four individually adjustable electric motors, one near each wheel, are expected to power the EQG, enhancing both on- and off-road driving capability. If the design is any indication, the EQG will also include a two-speed gearbox that can be switched between for off-roading. Similar to the Gas G-Class, the EQG will have a stiff rear axle and a sophisticated independent front suspension that should improve on-road driving. While the majority of the Mercedes EQ Benz's cars have a more modern appearance than the gasoline-powered rivals, the concept EQG will maintain the G-Class SUV's classic style with boxy dimensions and round headlights. According to Mercedes, this truck is a near-production concept. It has 22-inch wheels and the spare tire container at the back has a lockable box that Ben says can store a charging cord. The SUV concept is still body on frame, with independent front suspension and a solid back axle. Each wheel is powered by an electric motor, resulting in a four-wheel drive. The AMG G63, which boasts a 577 horsepower twin turbocharged 4.0 liter V8 under the hood, is currently the top G class. Mercedes AMG has stated that it will produce high performance versions of the EQ range, as seen with the AMG EQS, so expect an AMG EQG as well. Which of these vehicles are you most excited to see? Let us know down in the comment section.